Hey guys, welcome to yet another session of K21 Academy. In this session, we will see why Google Cloud Certification. If you are aiming for cloud certification in 2021, then Google Cloud Platform is one of the most in-demand platform to go for. Before we move further, let's take a look to agenda for this video. Firstly, we will get introduced to Google Cloud Platform. After that, why Google Cloud Certification? Along with what is Google Cloud Certification? then type of GCP certification and finally we will see how to prepare for GCP certifications. At the end we will also share details about our free masterclass which will not only help you to learn basics but it will also give you an idea of the learning part to follow. Now let's move ahead and start with introduction to Google Cloud Platform. Cloud computing is one of the rapidly growing industries and top area investment. Not we are talking just about money Actually, companies need the cloud technologies to host their application and run their business more efficiently and effectively. Google Cloud launched back in 2008 and it is ranked as the third top used cloud provider after Amazon Web Service and Microsoft Azure. It has 100 plus services upon running and offers 25 regions with 76 total zones around the globe. Many big name companies using this cloud computing to run business such as PayPal, Twitter, Spotify, Toyota, and the list goes on. In order to use the service effectively, Google Cloud has launched many certification teaching you how to deal with those services. Now you might have question why Google Cloud certification. GCP backed by Google and there's a huge demand for people who know Google Cloud Platform for DevOps, machine learning and big data. Getting certified is a good way to learn both essential skills and get recognition. And Google Cloud certification is one of the highest paying cloud certification in today's time. According to Glassdoor, the average salary for a GCP certified cloud engineer in India is 12,25,000 per year and around 131k USD per year in USA. Certification is an evidence of your expertise in Google Cloud tools and services. It adds a value to your CV and help you to get recognized by the interviewer. And also a company more likely to work with a certified individual rather than who isn't. Certification is a commitment of your expertise in Google Cloud Platform and make you stand out in the corporate world. You will feel more confident about your skills by having certification in your hand. As we know, certification are to validate our skills, right? Similarly, Google Cloud certification validate your expertise in GCP tools and services. You can get certification by passing one or more exams and each certification required different different areas of expertise. Like if you are applying for foundation level certification, there's no such hands on experience required. But if you are going in further and taking associate level or professional level certification, you should have proper hands on experience to pass these exams. Now let's see types of Google Cloud certifications. Google Cloud certification basically divided into three levels. The first one is foundation level. This level of certification validates board knowledge of cloud concepts and Google Cloud products, services, tools, features, benefits and use cases. This certification is appropriate for individuals in non-technical job roles who can add value to their organization by gaining cloud knowledge. And there's no such hands-on experience required for foundation level certification. The next one is associate level. The associate level certification is focused on the fundamental skills of deploying, monitoring and maintaining projects on Google Cloud. This certification is a good starting point and can be used as a path to professional level certifications. For that, you should have at least six months of experience working in Google Cloud platform. In further, you can develop your skills and look for professional level certifications. For this certification, you should have one year of experience in Google Cloud Platform along with advanced skills in designing, implementation and management. These certifications are recommended for individuals with industry experience and familiarity with Google Cloud products and solutions. Foundation level certification includes Cloud Digital Leader where associate level certification include Cloud Engineer and inside professional level certification you will find cloud architect cloud developer data engineer cloud devops engineer and so on 
it is not mandatory for you to go for all these GCP certification unless you truly want to become a GCP hero. Instead, you can focus on certification which is close to your work area and experience. For example, if you are doing DevOps, then getting certified as a Google Cloud Professional DevOps Engineer is a right way to learn GCP for DevOps and earn a certificate to showcase your skills. Similarly, for beginners, Google Cloud Associate Engineer is the right certification to go for. Now, how to prepare for GCP certification? Google Cloud certification examinations are known for their depth and complexity level. It is almost impossible to highlight the value of prior study and learnings. Surprisingly, at the end of the exam, Google does not issue a score. Instead, it actually gives you pass or fail grade, which does not help you to figure out where to improve. So there are some tips that can help. The first one is take a relevant learning path. We have put down everything about the certification, including the basic concept that one should know everything like overview cloud and Google Cloud platform, virtual machines, virtual networks, data storage service, app engine, function, cloud run, resource management, resource monitoring, interconnecting networks, load balancing and auto scaling, infrastructure automations, Google Kubernetes engine, maintenance and monitoring. This is eight week roadmap where we take you from basics to expert level along with tips and resources to clearing the exam. The second one is get hands on practice on Google Cloud platform. Hands on lab actually provide easy way for you to quickly get practical experience on real cloud environment. The third one is review the outline in the exam guide. Before going for the exam, I highly recommend you to go through all the official documentation and exam guide. You can check out all the exam related information by going onto the link cloud.google.com slash certifications. These are the certification Google offering. Like if you are preparing for associate level exam, then click on cloud engineer. You will find all the necessary information regarding associate cloud engineer exam, like length of the exam, registration fee, language, exam format, recommended experience, and all the details related to this exam. And if you are preparing for professional level exams like cloud architect, cloud developer, cloud engineers. You can check out all the detailed information by clicking on these links. Let's say I'm selecting cloud architect. It will show you all the detailed information regarding professional cloud architect exam. Like you should have knowledge how to design and plan a cloud solution architect, analyze and optimize technical and business processes and so on. Similarly, you will get length of the exam, registration fee, exam format, a recommended experience and all the necessary information. Next one is before going for the actual exam, it is highly recommended to go for practice exam. If you want to become Google professional cloud architect and want to learn right from basics to advanced level, I would like to invite you for our 90 minute free class with our expert trainer, which will not only help you to understand basics, but it will also give you an idea of the learning part to follow. This interactive class will help you in gaining an understanding of what is cloud and why you must learn, why Google Cloud, core services like compute, IAM, storage, networking, management, Kubernetes and Google Cloud, demo on deploying Kubernetes engine and so on. You can register for this free class by going onto the link k21academy.com slash gcppro02. If you found this video helpful, please give a thumbs up. I will see you in next episode from K21 Academy. Till then, take care.